Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to use Bootstrap and MDL in one single website. Bootstrap is a great responsive framework created by some talented people at Twitter and MDL is created by Google, it stands for Material Design Lite. It You can sort of think of it as essentially the Bootstrap equivalent from Google and it uses the material design philosophies. Bootstrap has been around for quite a while now. The documentation is very good. We have over 100 videos on it. There's a lot of documentation on their website, on a lot of other tutorial websites. MDL on the other hand is very new. There isn't a lot of documentation on it. It works very well. I really haven't had any issues with um, MDL for the most part, Bootstrap has been great as well. So don't let it be new put you off. It is still a great framework, but it lacks a few or a lot of features that say more specifically components and elements that you will most likely want in your website. And Bootstrap has a lot of those components. Plus I really love Bootstrap's grid system not the biggest fan of the responsive style that MDO has and I think that's personally because I'm very used to Bootstrap and I think a lot of other developers will be as well but like a lot of other developers I was looking for a way to add material design elements with little effort into my websites and MDL was a great fit and they worked very well with each other. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to getbootstrap.com. Go to getting started. Scroll down all the way to basic template and just copy and paste the code from here. Because we could write this out, but it's just all generic stuff like a doc type, meta tags, body, that sort of stuff. It just helps save a lot of time. So let's open up a text editor paste it into here. I'm just going to save it onto my desktop, call it index.html. There are a couple of things that we're going to change first. The CSS file for Bootstrap and the JavaScript file is referring to a local file. I don't have them downloaded on my desktop in CSS and JS folders. You can do that, that's fine, but I'm just going to use content delivery networks which can be found if you scroll up bootstrap cdn so if you just copy the first link which is the css file and just overwrite this file or that piece of code there copy the script file the other one is just an optional theme which we're not dealing with so let's just paste this bad boy here and if we just save that we actually have bootstrap set up set up it's that easy now to add MDL, just go to getmdl.io, go to getting started, scroll down, and we're gonna use content delivery networks again. You can easily download the files and put them on your own hosting service, that's fine. But I'm just gonna make it quick and simple and use CDNs. So I'm just gonna put a comment so it says MDL next we're going to get the script file and just put that below the script file here and finally we're going to get this style sheet which just has a bunch of icons all of the icons from mdl and bootstrap they are both fantastic help save a lot of time and effort so if we save this and just actually open this up in our web browser there you go we have bootstrap and mdl working you might be thinking it doesn't look anything fancy and that's simply because that's what the template looks like now we're just gonna simply add some bootstrap components so you can see what it looks like I'm gonna add a jumbotron yeah I'm gonna add a jumbotron so I'm just gonna copy and paste this let's get rid of this h1 tag but before I do oh sorry about that it's my phone I'm gonna put a div this is bootstrap code. I'm gonna put a class of container. Basically, I'm quickly setting up the grid for bootstrap. Div class equals row. And I'm just gonna use a 12 width 
size. So I'm going to do code-xs-12. Paste this code into here. And now it's going to copy and paste this into the p tag. It just has dots by default. So if I actually just open this up again. As you can see, we have a responsive component from Bootstrap. But what I want to do is actually make it a bit more material design. So I'm going to replace this button so it has a material design button. So let's go to components, buttons, and I'm, I'm going to use this one. With reports, that looks fantastic. So copy and paste this right here. So just get rid of the existing button. Sort out the indentation. Save that. Refresh. There you go. If I click it, it has the ripple effect that we love from the material design philosophy. It's responsive, works within Bootstrap. Bootstrap is working with MDL, which is fantastic. Anything really beyond this point is specific to your website, what components you want from Bootstrap, what components you want from Material Design Light, and you can just get whatever you want and basically plop them in. Where am I? Where accordingly. So it's it really is that simple. There will be a link in the description to the source code from this video. So you have a template already set up if you want to check that out. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions.php. There'll be a link in the description to that. Please rate, comment, and subscribe as it really does help us understand what you like and what you don't like about the video. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.